Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you these colorful spring seed beads earrings done with the circular stitch that I've shown you so many times. I'm showing step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself even if you are a beginner. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. I will be so happy to have you as a viewer. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great support that you're giving me, guys. Thank you so much. You could consider checking description for useful resources and a link to the membership option. Thank you so much. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads. I'm using green, black, yellow, orange and red and you could use tenno seed beads if you want. These are earring findings in copper color, you could use other color and other type of earring findings you like. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and by the way you could check description for a full list of materials linked to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials also you could support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks a course of five peyote stitch videos let's continue this is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 as well. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start my work by picking up eight of these beautiful green beads and I have my eight here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made then I pull gently and then what I want to do is to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and in this way I make surges knot or half hitch knot then I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, now I'm here exiting through one of my green beads. In my next step, guys, I'm going to take one black bead and I'm going back in circle through this green bead. Okay, and I have something like a loop between the green bead here and my black one and I pull. Then I go in my next green bead, just like this. I take a black one and I go backwards through this green and through the following green. Okay. Another black one. And I do the same thing. I go back through this green and also go through the following and in this way I save time. And I'm taking one more black bead, go like this. And now I'm going to show you faster the rest four beads, how I'm adding them. Here at my last step was my knot, that is why I used my pliers to go through this bead. Okay, now what I want to do is as I'm exiting through this green bead, I want to go in the other direction and through the black bead. Okay, now this is what I have and I'm going to flip my work because it's easier to go in this direction. If it's easier for you in the other direction, it's okay. Now I'm taking a yellow bead and I go here through this black one, another yellow, 
go in the next black a yellow and I'm going to continue these guys filling up the gaps with yellow beads until the end of this row And I have here my last yellow bead and now I'm exiting out of this black bead and I'm going to take just one black bead and I go back through this black one then I go through the yellow this time I take two yellows guys and I go backwards through this yellow then again I go through the black take one black and go through the black and through the yellow just to save time to save one movement now I'm here after the yellow and I need two yellows go backwards through the yellow and through the black one black two yellows and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row one black two yellows one black two yellows and i'll meet you here at this side and here i am guys where i need to add my last two yellow beads from this row okay and now i want to do another additional step going through this yellow here in this direction then what I want to do is go here through all of the beads that I added in this row and connect them to each other I'm just going through all of the beads at the edge here okay I'll go around like this and I'll meet you here okay guys and as i went around through all of those beads in this direction i'm exiting here out of this black bead and now i want to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction and i'm taking one black bead and i go backwards through this black one and through the following yellow then i take one yellow Go back through this yellow and through the following yellow here I want to take a yellow and an orange go back through this yellow and through the following black and here where my black is I'm adding just one black go back like this one yellow then two beads a yellow and an orange and then a black yellow one yellow and orange as i did before and a black one and i'm going to continue this until the end 
yellow, yellow, orange, black, yellow, yellow, orange, black. And if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind these first three steps and repeat them until the end and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row, which are yellow and orange. Okay. I have this. And now what I want to do is the same thing as I did before. I want to go through all of the beads here at the edge and make them go in a straight line and connect them. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I reinforced my work and what I want to do is to flip it like this and continue with another row. For it I need a black one. A yellow one. An orange one. And again a yellow and an orange and here I add two beads at the last yellow. Okay. Then in my next step I will do absolutely the same thing. Take one black one yellow one orange and then a yellow and an orange okay and I'm going to continue this until the end black yellow orange yellow orange black yellow orange yellow orange okay if you forget forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these steps until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step where i add my last yellow and orange and now do you guess what i'm going to do i'm going to reinforce it again like i did in my previous rows okay this circular stitch I'm showing in a lot of my tutorials and you could do so many things with it. I have a beaded pumpkin, I have a snowman with this stitch. I also have just colorful earrings. Okay, and I will continue reinforcing this row here until the end and when I'm ready I will meet you here at this side. Okay guys and I just reinforced this row as well and now I'm exiting out of this black one and I will flip my work like this and I will start forming the petals of my flower. How I do this I go through this yellow bead, take one yellow Take one red, one red again, one yellow, now I have this, then I will go back through these four beads, yellow, two reds and yellow. I'm taking a yellow, go back again through this yellow. Okay, I attach it here. Then I'm going again in this direction 
through the yellow that I just attached, you see where I am, take one red bead and go back in circle through these two reds. Okay, like this. Then go through the newly added red. Take just one yellow and go back through this one here. Okay, then I'm going through the red one in the middle. And what I want to take here are two yellows. And I go back in circle through this central red one. Okay. In my next step, I go through this yellow here. And I add one yellow here at the top and I go like this in this direction. Okay. Then here what I want to do is go again in this direction through these beads. Now at this stage you might want to need your pliers if it's too tight. Okay. Why I do this? Because I want to connect here these yellow beads. This one is not connected to this one, you see. So I'm doing this reinforcement to connect it. Okay, like this. And then I go again like this. Now everything stays nice and tight and my first petal is ready. Then I will go in this direction, zigzagging through my beads. I want to exit here at this yellow bead and I will do the same thing that I showed you here. I'll show you one more time. yellow, red, red, yellow go through all of the beads in this direction yellow back through it red, go through two, then backwards, one yellow, go through the red here in the center, two yellows, one yellow go backwards like this go here and connect those yellow beads at the top to stay nice and tight and zigzag through the beads to reach the point where you need to add you need to start the next petal okay now i will continue this and meet you at this side okay guys and i'm here where i just finished my last petal and i went here through these two beads now my thread is exiting out of this one and what I want to do is exit through the through the next one 
and from the center to the outside okay then what I want to take here are two green beads then I'm going to take my earring finding and two more green beads and what I want to do is go in the same place here through this yellow bead okay now it is attached but I want to reinforce it okay I will go through all of my beads one more time in this step I might be using my pliers because it's not easy to go so many times through the beads and here I might use my pliers to do this If you find it too too difficult, it's not obligatory to reinforce, but it's better. Okay. And when you do this, it's time to make a knot and cut your thread. How I do this, I go at the back of my work. Make a loop here. go once pull and go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now your spring seed beads earrings are ready and now my spring flowers circular stitch seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell and in this way you won't miss my new tutorials and you will be able to make more and more beautiful projects also check description for a full list of materials link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my instagram and facebook pages you could also support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the membership comes with perks that you could see in the link in description as well thank you so much for watching thank you for being here and with me and liking sharing and commenting this is also a great support now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.